Yo, what's good, y'all? Oh, I know you guys are probably like, yo, Matt, what's up with the ET challenges? What's going on? <sighs> Since being back from Cali, not for nothing, I've been like all over the place. I've been trying to get acclimated, trying to get back, trying to do so much. Still summer basketball, still hooping. <clears throat> you know, but life is life. I'm gonna jump in something with y'all. Um, the big thing for me nowadays is I learned that my peace is more than anything. You know, how I feel inside, how I feel mentally matters to me more than anything, to be honest. Um, you know, and before I was so accessible, bro. I was so, I was there for everybody. I listened to every problem. You know, I tried to be the best advice. Like I was trying to be like the hitch, you know, Will Smith of life. You know, just the the best friend that always that always tried to help people out. But nowadays, um, <clears throat> a lot of people don't have access to me. You know, not because I'm Hollywood, not because I'm different. It's just I care about my peace more than I care about friendship. You know, I care about where I'm at mentally more than I care about anything else. And you know, people don't know that um, we call so many people our friends, our bros, our sis, and they aren't, you know? They're just, some people are there because they wanna, they wanna just be a part of your life. Some people are there to reap the benefits. Some people are there to see you fail. You know what I mean? Like, when you have friends in your life, it's not about you know, your friends help you get over things. It's not about that. You know, when times are tough, you don't need your friends to help you get over things. You just need to make sure that they're there with you so you can get through it. You go through shit to get through shit. That's just the biggest model. Like, that's the biggest thing. You go through shit to get through shit. And where I'm at now, like, my peace matters to me. My peace, is, peace should matter to you. You should really think that are you at peace with yourself? Are you happy with yourself? You can't be loving no one else. You can't be being a great friend to someone else if you are happy within yourself because one day all of those... Trials and tribulations are gonna come down on you. It's gonna hit you hard. And life has a funny way of hitting you hard to see how tough you are. You might be tough. You might you might be the strongest person you know in your family. But something's gonna hit you one day that's gonna be too tough. And you gotta ask yourself, are you at peace with yourself? You know, are you happy where you at in your life? You know, if you're not happy where you at in your life, why are you chilling so much? Like, if you're not where you wanna be in life, why why are you chilling so much? If you're not happy with the results that's going on, then what are you doing? You know? Why are you on IG? Why are you why are you wasting your life? Why are you entertaining that boy or that girl that ain't helping you get nowhere in life? I'm getting a little bit more passionate about this now that I talk about it. It's like, if you're not ha why are you chilling so much? What is there to chill about? Let me guess, you caught up on those Netflix episodes. You watched Stranger Things season three? You uh, you up on these basketball games? What you chilling so much for, bro? Sis, life life right now is is what you make of it. You know what I mean? People will get content with their life now, and um, years from then they be like, oh, you know, I wasted my life. But you could change it now. You know, are you at peace with yourself? Being at peace with yourself is the biggest, most massive thing in the world. You have to be happy with yourself. You cannot bullshit yourself. You could, you could lie to social media. You could post up, flying on a vacay. You know, you could put on some tights and, you know, slim shirt and be like, yeah, work out, mommy. Nah. Everybody wants the shortcuts. That's how people getting their bodies done, you know. That's how people, you know, aren't putting in the work to get better. You know, that's why people are trying to, trying to get a quick fix on the money aspect. Trust me, I thought about it. You know how many times I was like this close to wanting to be a drug dealer, bro? Like, I just see it. Like, I see I see niggas eating. And I need to eat. I see it, but... But that's not it. That's not it. You know, I was asking myself, you know, I broke it down mathematically. Like, the... The average time that it would, I would spend out there on the streets trying to sell drugs. Incorporating the time that I would probably get caught. The time I would do for me trying to get caught and stuff like that. Compared to that of a 9 to 5. I might as well just stay with the 9 to 5. 9 to 5, I'm free. It's almost the same amount of money. Low-key, you probably won't see it. 
you know, as fast, but it's, it's almost the same amount of money because you're still have your freedom. You know, it's, it's so much more in life than, than, you know, just trying to get a quick fix. We always want microwave results. Should I be wanting microwave results? Trust me, because I've been in the trenches. I've been working, but you know, after after seeing uh, California being out there and really getting to experience what it was like, yo, it's a lot out there, man. It's a lot out there. If you haven't left the city, if you haven't, don't be don't be ashamed to go on vacation with yourself. I hate when people like I can't I can't believe you vacate by yourself. Yes, yes, I shouldn't need somebody to go with me someplace to go travel the world to go see beautiful things. I don't need nobody there. I don't need love. Like, like, like people get so so conscious of things that they need. The things that you need is food, shelter, water. I could get up and go fly anywhere, go experience. I I am a vibe. I am like, I'm I'm I'm, I'm a life. I'm a I'm an experience. I I like to I like to just do things. That's why I do the bungee jumping and uh, jumping out of planes and you know ATV riders and uh, jet skis. It's, it's I do it because it's fun, bro. It's my life. I'm living it. I don't need someone to be there with me for me to experience it. And I almost don't want nobody to be there low-key. You know, some parts of me be like, you know, let me have somebody come along. Sometimes I'm like, nah. It's about me, myself, you know. I go to the movie. I go to the matinee movies by myself in the morning. Watch movies. Order my popcorn. Order my doctors and chips. You know, occasionally I might want somebody there, but it's not a necessity. It's an addition. It's a plus. You know, so make sure you, have, you make sure you're comfortable with yourself mentally in that aspect, y'all. So many people get so caught up in that they can't do stuff, they can't move without other people with them. It's like, yo, you was born into this world without anybody. What the hell you mean you can't do nothing without them? You gotta be better, bro. You gotta be. You gotta be at peace with yourself. I'm not as accessible as I was before. Cause my peace within myself is matters to me more than anything. That's the biggest thing you gotta understand. Are you happy within yourself? You taking on other people's problems, that's not your problems. You haven't dealt with your problems internally. You got things from your past that you haven't dealt with. If it hasn't hit you now, it's gonna hit you in that relationship. It's gonna hit you when you raise that kid. It's gonna hit you somewhere. Deal with your problems now. Cause if you build something on a weak foundation, it's gonna crumble. It's gonna fall. Stay true, y'all. Have a blessed one. I'm back with my ET challenges. Over and out.